welcome to IPCS Automations. In today's class, we will be seeing Snyder Electric PLC TM221 CE24R. This PLC has 14 digital inputs, 2 analog inputs, and 10 digital outputs. This PLC has 2 communication ports, 1 Ethernet port, and 1 serial port. This PLC supports smart bus communication. Now we will see how to connect this PLC with Somation Basic via Ethernet. Just click Somation Basics. So after this a new window will open. In this window if you see there will be an option known as Create New Project. Just click that. After that in Configuration window you can see all the different models which this software supports and all the models will be listed down here. You can choose any one according to your wish. So today we will be choosing TM221CE24R. So just click it and drag and place it here. After this a new window will open and this it will ask do you want to replace just give yes. So as I said before the PLC is being replaced. If you see this is all the digital inputs. This is your analog input. This is the digital output and these are the two communication port. Serial communication and Ethernet communication. If you want to communicate in serial communication just click here. The settings for serial communication window will open. There you can choose uh, the baud rate, what kind of parity uh, and all those things. Now we will be seeing Ethernet, so let's let us choose Ethernet. In this Ethernet port, uh, you have the settings for IP address. So I am just giving the IP address 192. So after giving the IP address, gateway and subnet mask, just give apply. So the configuration part is over. Now let us go to the programming window. In this window, if you see, uh, you will be having all your inputs like NO, NC, then pulse signals, rising edge, falling edge, then comparator, and then function blocks like timer, counter, bit shift, FIFO, LIFO, so drum controller, pulse generator and all those things. And after that you will be having your output coil, negated coil, set coil, reset coil and all those things. So now let us see a just basic d starter. So I need a NO contact, so choose a NO, place it in the rung, then choose one NC contact, place it here, then one coil, then choose the pencil and draw the line, vertical line for latching. So if you see there will be two options, symbol address, in this click address, once you click address automatically percentage symbol will be displayed. So for input it starts with I. So once you give I all the inputs will be listed down. As I said before it has 14 digital inputs. So from percentage I 0.02 percentage I 0.13 the inputs will be displayed. So choose whichever input you want. I am choosing I 0.0 then click the next contact and give the address. Output address will start with Q. If you see there are 10 digital outputs starting from Q 0 0.0 to 0 0.9. So just give Q 0 0.0. Once the rungs get completed automatically you will get a tick mark indicating that the rung is without any errors. If if there is some incomplete part, if I am just deleting a line, see automatically into mark shows. So uh, this indicates that there is some error in the rung. Once the rungs gets completed, the error is removed automatically, you will get this tick mark. So after this compile your program.
now let us download the program to the PLC so choose commissioning window once you choose this window you can see uh, the two com ports and one ethernet port and you can choose whichever you want now we have connected the PLC through ethernet so I am just clicking the ethernet port even if you want to simulate before downloading the program you can go to launch simulator and you can launch the simulator and you can simulate the program and can see so after choosing the ethernet device just click login so now the PLC and your PC is being connected and you will get a message that the program the controller and the PC has a different application yes now just give PC to controller download so that the program which you created will be downloaded to the PLC once the PC and controller programs are identical start controller button will be enabled just click this button ok now the PLC is in run mode so just go to the programming and you can see now I am pressing on button off on off so if you want to come out just go to commissioning again give log out after this choose the programming window and you can program whatever program you want if you want to add a new rung just click this new rung will be created if you want to delete the rung press this button rung will be deleted in this way you can do the programming so we can see other topics in the next class if you have any doubts mention in the comment section if you like our videos subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon